Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! And today guys we are going to play with a completely new type of a doll for me. Today we are going to repaint this beautiful rainbow high doll. And you know this is one of the newer doll releases. It came out probably in 2020 or maybe in the end of 2019. So I've never really seen one of these dolls in person. I've seen them just on pictures on the internet. And actually I really like what I see. And on pictures and now in real, first of all, the box is extremely pretty. It's really like a little bit holographic or like metallic with a metallic effect. These rainbow girls all look absolutely fantastic. These golden letters. It really looks expensive. It really looks quality made. It really looks like a good quality doll. Like here, this, all these elements. It all looks really classy. Then the doll, I don't know, in the box she looks also very good. She has at least double jointed knees. So this doll is supposed to be really nicely posable. Also the face and the body type, they are also pretty unique. This doll doesn't look like a Barbie doll or a Monster High doll or a Bratz doll. It's something new, it's something unique. This doll looks like herself. You know, these dolls, they have kind of their own style, their own image, so I really love the release, at least visually, you know, in pictures and in the box. And I'm really looking forward to opening this box and seeing what is going on inside, how this doll looks from close. What I can say already now, that this doll has inserted eyes, and it means I will be able finally to test the ice uh, molds that I ordered from AliExpress already, I don't know, three months ago or something like this. Never tried them. So today we are going to make new inserted eyes. This is the only thing that I can tell for sure already now. And now let's open this box and see how it all looks and moves from close. And while I'm busy, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos, and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes, because it would really help my channel to grow and to reach bigger audience, to reach new people. So, this being said, now let's open the box. So, and this is what we've got, the doll, obviously, the second outfit, the second pair of shoes, and also this display holder. Yeah, this we can remove now. Let's take a closer look at the doll. Uh, the doll feels quite heavy. This is my first impression. It's really heavier than Barbie Monster High doll. Maybe it's because of the shoes, of course. Uh, so the shoes are extremely cute. They have here like a jelly bottom and here it says a rainbow on her shoes like this very cute and the second pair of shoes also looks really cute yeah and of course like should my dress that this doll <laughs> dressed up exactly like Billie Eilish I've made already one Billie Eilish doll in the same outfit so I can recognize the influence. I don't know, we've just repainted the original Billie Eilish doll, so if you're interested in Billie Eilish doll repaints, check out my Billie Eilish playlist. And this doll we will turn into someone else. She will not end up as Billie Eilish in the end of this video. So, yeah, the doll is heavy, the shoes are extremely cute, the outfit is also actually very okay. Look, we have this jacket, yeah, inside it's a little bit less perfect, but anyway, it's a decent outfit, it's really detailed. Here is still some protection, so it's really detailed, you can see all the pockets, yeah, I think it looks very, very cute. So, what else is here? The second pair of pants looks also very good, also with all kinds of details, with prints, and her hat, her beanie, also looks very cute. So, my first impression is actually 
absolutely positive so right now i think we can undress the doll and let's check out what we will see inside so her cute shoes really adorable i would wear these shoes in real life also her feet look very cute the size of the feet looks healthy looks quite normal and the shape of the feet also looks cute so yes so far i really like what i see here so now let's remove her yeah her legs are also movable here in the hip here is also an extra joint so we have the knees we have here joint and we have here joint yeah really nice really nice so this doll will be able to sit like this in the yoga in a lotus position yeah it's very nice yeah and in the upper body she has just these elbow joints and that's it there is no extra joints here in her chest area but anyway she looks super cute from the back check her out <laughs> i think she looks really 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 cute so now let's probably remove the beanie then we're going to cut her hair very short and then we're going to try to figure out how to remove her eyes I just really hope that I will not have to cut her head open for this to remove the eyes. I hope we will be able to get them out from the outside. So let's take off her beanie and let's cut her hair very short afterwards. Well, bad news guys, I've looked up some tutorials online, there are very few artists who have already repainted these rainbow high dolls, really, there are very few of them, but there are a couple of tutorials covering up the eyes situation, how to remove the eyes, and it looks like that there is absolutely no way to remove her eyes without cutting the head open because uh, the base of the eyes, like the hidden part that is now sitting inside, is bigger than the outside, than the holes and this vinyl head is very 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 hard so there is absolutely no way to take some needle or some you know, picking tool and to remove these eyes uh, like this from the outside so there is absolutely no other way but to cut a hole here on her head and to remove the eyes like this but first of all we are going to take the head off and for this we are going to warm the head up with the hair dryer Hmm, you know what guys, after I warmed her head up with a hair dryer, this rubber, this vinyl material has become actually very soft and I think it might be actually possible to remove the eyes without cutting the head open. <laughs> Check it out, yes, 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 internet, <laughs> always try it yourself. And here we go, super, super, I'm super happy because of course it makes my life much easier, ideal. So now let's remove the rest of this short hair that is still sitting inside of the hat. 
And then, yeah, then we'll continue, then we'll probably remove all this paint with pure acetone. And then we will think what are the next steps. But I'm so happy I could remove the eyes without cutting the head open. And the internet says that this is impossible. Everything is possible. Super. So the old face is gone, I can see here is some staining on her lips, but all of this will be covered when we start working on her new face. And for the rest, yeah, everything is going pretty well so far, and the next step of the makeover will be giving her new hair, I guess. I've prepared here this pretty warm blonde hair, the sun-kissed saran, this is exactly what I want today, because I start kind of calling for spring and summer, have enough of this winter, so now let's plant all the strands of the new hair into the old holes in her head. Here is her new sunny hair a couple of hours later. I don't know, this is such a happy hair color, exactly what I wanted today. So now let's add glue inside to keep it all in place. And while all this situation is drying, I guess for a day or two, we can experiment a little bit with the inserted eyes. So I've bought a bunch of silicone eye molds in different sizes. I haven't used them yet, but my worry is that with these molds I will probably get round eyes, while the doll's original eyes have this more oval shape, and the eye sockets have been made normally for this shape of eyes. So I'm not really sure if these eyes would work on this doll, but you know, there's just one way to figure it out. And it means that now we will cast all these eyes and we will try them on our doll to see if any of these would work in our case today, if any of them would fit into these sockets. So I've bought white resin, especially for making eyes. And let's try, let's see where it will lead us. So here we are, an hour later, we've got a bunch of brand new eyes, and now let's see what is the right size for our doll. The first ones are clearly too small. Yes, and this is probably quite the right size, I think. The sockets are just a little bit too deep, but we can solve it later. So I can think we can paint the eyes right now. And first I'm applying a layer of Liquitex primer. And then I draw the new irises using green and yellow acrylics. Because I think I want to give her green eyes today.
The pupils I will make out of the heads of the pins. They're black and the size seems to be quite right. I bought a thousand of them, so we can make at least 500 pairs of doll eyes. And then I add glossy UV resin and I let it cure for a minute. Okay, guys, it looks like we have a problem here. You can see all this blackness that is happening right now in the irises. It looks to me like there is some serious conflict happening between the paint and the resin. I think I can probably simply pull out this ball of resin from the eyes. Yep, you can see it's not glued to the acrylic paint like it's supposed to. I don't know, this is very, very, very strange and it's also very, very, very worrying for me because I don't really know the source of the problem and I also don't know how to solve it at the moment. So I've tried making more eyes using different kinds of resin off camera, but the problem stays as you can see. I've even covered them with resin completely to seal the place where the air could get in, like here this border, but you can see this blackness where the resin didn't stick to the paint, it still stays, there is still these bubbles of air, and here is even some colored liquid started coming out after a couple of days, because I'm suffering here already for, for a long time really. So here is obviously some serious conflict happening between the resin and the acrylic paint and I can absolutely not understand why and how to solve it. I don't know, let's try spraying it with Mr. Super Clear sealant because I never had any issues with using UV resin on top of eyes covered with Mr. Super Clear. We have nothing to lose anyway and we just have to try everything we already have before I start buying boxes of new acrylics. So, Mr. Super Clear, you just have to save the day. Yes, guys, yes, I'm officially renaming Mr. Super Clear into Mr. Superhero because it always saves me, really, always. Now everything looks good, but I will still remake the eyes just with the sealant and without the acrylics because who knows how it will act a couple of weeks or months later. Maybe this conflict will start happening again, this separation. And I've also decided to make her eyes blue because I feel already sick, honestly, from drawing the green eyes again and again, trying to figure it out, because it really it took me a week to progress with the eyes. So right now I really would like to draw at least something different about her eyes, and that's why I've decided to go for the blue eyes this time, and not the same green ones again. I don't know how many I've made them already off camera, six or something like this. I really have enough of green eyes for today. Well, and here are finally the eyes, and I absolutely cannot believe it, because it was some suffering, I can tell you honestly. So, now let's insert the eyes into the sockets, and I will use sticky warbler to fill in the eye sockets, because they were a little bit too deep for the eyes, if you remember when we were trying them in the beginning. And yes, guys, I've decided to insert the eyes first, then we will protect them with masking tape, and then we will draw the face, because if we go, like, vice versa, if we first draw the face, and then we start, you know, warming up the head, squeezing the face, trying to get the eyes in, it's gonna definitely end up bad for the face up, so we will first put the eyes in, squeeze the face as much as I want, and then we will do the face. 
Okay, now we can finally seal her face with our Mr. Superhero. And then we will draw a completely new face. So I think I'm gonna stop here with her face, normally the next step is blushing her body but today I will make an outfit and the shoes for her first because I have just one doll like this and I will have to use it as a model for her dress and for the shoes so I better blush her body in the very end otherwise I might scratch it while working on the outfit and especially while working on shoes. I want to make a super cute dress for her and I'm starting with cutting out like a base dress detail out of this white fabric. Then I take this gorgeous peach color ribbon with flowers, I gather it and I attach it to the white fabric in layers. this is what I've got, four layers of this gathered ribbon attached to the base of the dress. Now let's sew the back of the dress and then we'll attach short gathered sleeves.
So, and this is where I've ended up with the dress. It's very cute, very girlish, it's for sure very summer looking. And now I think we can move on to the shoes making part of this video. And I will use, like always, Warbler Thermoplastic to make shoes for my doll. And first of all, I'm warming all the details up with a hair dryer. The thermoplastic becomes soft and very sticky. And then I can shape the details and connect them together making shoes. When I'm happy with the shape of the shoes, I can cover them with metallic acrylics. And the front of the shoes I'm decorating with mini bows. Oh, and I want actually to attach the same bow to the front of the dress, I think it will be just ideal. So, this is the outfit, I've also made a pair of long socks off camera, because this video will already last for 3 hours probably, and now we can actually start working on her body. But first I actually want to change something in her body, and now I'm talking about her knees. Because you know guys, even though they're double jointed, the articulation of the knees is not that perfect. You can move them just at 90 degrees, kind of the same like the knees of a, I don't know, any regular doll with a single joint. Look, here we can compare it to a Monster High doll, and the flexibility of the knees is approximately the same. And here we have double joints, and here we have a single joint. And it means that their double joints is just kind of one big missed opportunity, because they just didn't get the shape of the joints right. Look, I'm quite sure that if we remove this part of joints here, like in the middle, the flexibility of the knees will grow, I don't know, 50 plus percent. And let's check how it works now. Fantastic! I don't know, the, the difference is clear, I think, and the difference is also quite mind-blowing. It's really very strange that they didn't make the shape of the joints right. I don't know, the makers of this Rainbow High dolls, contact me, please. We can make great things together. Because, you know, I'm also quite disappointed with the neck pack, because here is also quite a strange solution we can see. In one hand, the neck pack is a separate piece. It's not a part of the body, it's not a part of the neck. But at the same time, it doesn't move inside of the neck like you would expect from a regular separated neck pack. But it's literally like glued or, I don't know, molded to the inside of the neck. They should have or cast the pack and the body as one piece, or to make the peg movable, if they decide to go for these two pieces construction. But like this, it just, I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. I don't know, I will probably not touch the neck this time. It would be really interesting to fix it. But this part of the doll's body is very fragile, and the chance to break it or to get, I don't know, some complications is quite huge. And then, I don't know, if I mess up with her body, I'll have to skip another Friday. I don't know, if something goes wrong here. So, I think we will experiment with the neck pack the next time, in the beginning of the project. 
And right now I will finally send her body. I will spray it with Mr. Super Clear slash Mr. Superhero and then we'll blush it with soft pastels. Okay, the face and the body are finished. Now let's take a look at her hair. And I think actually that I want to do her hair up. It looks better on her than loose hair. So let's go for a bun today. I fix her hair with some French pins and then I cut off the ends of these pins if they are too long. And the front of her hair I will decorate with a bow made out of the same fabric like the dress. So now we can attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to her lips. So and then we are actually almost done guys. But I still want to give my doll an extremely cute extra detail that will kind of finish her character. And I'm talking about this adorable violin. I've downloaded it online, the link I will leave in the description under this video. And now I will print this beauty on my 3D printer. And check it out, what an adorable thing it is, really so, 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 so cute, not normal. So now I can wash it with acetone and then we'll cure it in the UV lamp. So here is the thing, check it out, I don't know, I give it 10 out of 10 in being adorable. The only thing, I don't really like the holes on the back from the support legs. And I want to make the surface completely even and for this I will use this foam coat primer. I think it will be ideal in this case. So I let this foam coat dry, then I sand it and after this we can apply all our acrylics and pastels to turn it into a real mini instrument.
and a touch of glossy varnish, of course, because it's supposed to shine. To make the strings, I will use this fiberglass that other people use to make long nails. Well, I have a better use for it, I think. So, and here are finally our finished mini violin and also the mini bow. The bow is officially the tiniest thing I've ever made here in my studio. I don't know, I think I deserve a like for it. Because these things, the violin and the bow, they're just adorable. So, now let's give them to our doll and then we'll finally take a look at the end result pictures. Well guys, finally we can see the end result of our work today. I can tell you honestly, it was a very, very, very long journey this time. I've started this project just after the new year, probably like on the 2nd or on the 3rd of January. And I'm finishing it in the beginning of February, really, that's crazy long. I hate when projects become that long. I was originally planning to upload her before Princess Tiana, but I had to change my plans because of the problems with her eyes. By the way, guys, if you have any idea why I had this issues with using the UV resin on top of acrylics, please let me know. Because I could really use some experienced help in this situation. I used acrylics from Arteza and resin from three different brands. So I think the problem is in the acrylics. Please let me know what you think. Maybe you had a similar experience with your crafts. But for now, I'm going to make my eyes using pencils and our savior, Mr. Super Clear. This seems to be quite a trustworthy way to go. And also, please tell me, guys, if you want to see more of these Rainbow High dolls on my channel. I'm personally totally not against them, but of course, it's up to you because you will watch my videos after all. So please let me know if we should continue customizing them here on my channel. Well, and this doll is right now for sale on eBay. You can find the link in the description box under this video, like always. So check it out if you are interested in this little violin player doll. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you already very soon, normally next week Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.